Okay, we're back. Oh my god, we're gonna fight undying. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's in Fen. Oh god, we're already bad. No more running away. Here I come. Ungod. Okay, so the first time I fought Undyne, I did terrible. <laughs> I fucked everything up. Like, I didn't realize what you actually had to do in the fight, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, not fight. <laughs> We're going to act. Uh, and we'll plead. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me! Also, I love Undyne's freaking battle music. It's badass! Oh my god, I love it. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Weed. I don't wanna fight! Nothing happens to him. Not bad! Then how about this? Undyne flashes a menacing smile. I can't do a menacing smile. I'm not menacing, I'm cute. <laughs> I don't want to fight. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. That went away too quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Undyne towers threateningly. Spare? And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Okay. <laughs> Smells like sushi. <laughs> I won't let you snatch it away from us. Okay. Undyne suplexes a huge boulder. Just because she can. Good for you, Undyne. Yeah! Enough warming up. Oh, fuck. I almost had it. Okay. Now that I'm red, I can actually run away. Undyne holds her fist and shakes her head. Your fist in forever. Whatever. You know what I meant. <laughs> you can read it. Uh, flee. No, Undyne! <laughs> you won't get away from me this time. I don't remember what her voice was. I think that's close. Oh no. <laughs> Bleed! I don't want to fight! No! Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Okay. <laughs> uh, I need to fix my hands. They're broken. <laughs> Undyne, please. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Ah, fuck. Pixie, Pixie. I shouldn't be messing up on these. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Killing you now is an act of mercy. Okay. <laughs> so stop being so damn resilient. Ah, uh, no! Ah! <laughs> Undyne, please! Please! No! Ah, no! <laughs> You've escaped from me for the last time! Undyne attacks. Again. Uh, what do I have in healing items? I'll use an ice cream, I'm good. You're just great! Your HP is maxed out. Alphys told me humans were determined. Uh, I hate those ones! Ugh, they're so hard to predict, because I'm not good. I see now what she meant by that. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Bad, I'm determined too! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Undyne bounces impatiently. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Uh, spare. Determined to end this right now. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Right now. Uh, uh, oh god, no. <laughs> Heal. Love yourself. I love you. Oh, that's sweet. Right now. Oh god, why? I'm being very terrible. Oh wait. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Undyne's badass. <laughs> Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Yeah, Die already, you little brat! <laughs> no! Avast, no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Oh god! That was the worst timing! Okay, Vest, you're good! Oh no! Run away! Run, 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 run! No! Hey! What's up? I was just thinking! You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think it would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Like, uh, no. Stop running away. No, Undyne, please. This is sweet as you. You recovered 15 HP. No, die already, you little brat. Run, 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 run. Hi, Sands. Bye, Sands. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yeah. You take a cup of water. Here you go, Undyne. Give Undyne the water? Yeah. Be nice. I'm a nice little... Frisk. And then just walks away slowly, like... <laughs> okay. Now... Let's take another cup of water. Let's see... Can I give it to Sands, maybe? Cup of water returned to the water cooler. Okay. Aw, Sands is gone. Okay... Uh Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Okay. What if I take it this way? The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna save right here real quick. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Save. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us world guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Dot, 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 okay. Boatsman! Tra la la, I am the riverman. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yee. Yeah. Where will we go today? Let's go back to Waterfall and go do like Papyrus said and hang out with Undyne. That'll be fun. Then we're off. Tra-la-la, 
What's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. Hmm. Now, the boatmen will usually, like, give hints as to little, like, secrets or something like that that you can do in the game. I've never heard of acorn one, so that's interesting. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. -la. I know I'm adding an extra la, but I don't care. Okay. I don't remember this guy being here before. I don't know if that happens in, like extra like if you do another run because this is my second run for people who don't know of undertale so like that's interesting because i really don't remember that guy unless i'm just bad <laughs> which could be very possible so you feel a common tranquility you are filled with determination let's go see undyne that's weird music Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have the plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. That's a bone. <laughs> Gee. I wonder who, who, who gave you that to give to Undyne. G. Oh. Uh, what was her voice again? I just did it. Hi, hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi. I don't think we've. Mm -hmm. Eh! <laughs> Why don't. You two come in. <laughs> I freaking love papyrus. Oh god, genocide is gonna be so hard. I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get to papyrus and start crying uncontrollably. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. And then his voice is just constantly changing. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! <laughs> oh my god, I love papyrus. <laughs> he just goes, whoop! Right out the window. It reminds me of Scott Pilgrim. Just like, he's not here right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humil humiliate me even further? Is that it? No, I just want to be bros. That's all. And why are you here? Uh, wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? You weren't my house- If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang! What a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you! But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Foo! <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'm getting so tongue tied, I don't even know why. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't even be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? It's so nice to have you over. 
Why not take a seat at the table? One time, Alphys's uh, friends came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. Why can't I talk? And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. And the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> this oven is some top of the line MTT thing, but, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer, it has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food. So Alf has fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! Yeah. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword! Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Mm-hmm. She's also a nerd. A nerd you'd like to take in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I can't believe he jumped- he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing! Oh my god. Okay, I think that's it that I can look at, so sit down and progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Okay, 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 okay. All set, what would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Uh, can I drink the sword? Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guests. Okay. Fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge. No! Okay, let's skip over the blatantly obvious choice of tea, and let's pick Undyne. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Are you... hitting on me? Eh? Eh? Okay, that's it. <laughs> Sugar. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? What? Really? That rules! Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Eh, that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. Rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Eh. <laughs> oh. Undyne has a weak point. Soda. Yeah. Hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container is empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. And tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. <laughs> It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love that sound effect. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. <sighs> hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weedies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. <laughs> Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh my god. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I to closer together than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. Foo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Afraid we're gonna be best friends. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. That's banana. So, two tomatoes, a carrot, and banana. What? Okay. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How you pound? Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god! Stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. Well, I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest! Yeah. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely? Careful. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clack against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Harder! <laughs> Ugh, let me do it. Okay. 
<laughs> That's the stuff. Alright. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Left, you fool. This burner only goes one way. Really? That's the thing? Hotter. Hotter. Darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too... I wanted to see if there was anything that happened if you just didn't go, but... I didn't know if you went left, it started going like, Left! No, that's not right. <laughs> ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship presents? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends. I want to be your friend. I love you, Undyne. That's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Undying is then you make the first attack. You pretend to swing at Undying with all your might. Ding! <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine stick, shtick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Fuhuhuhu. <laughs> oh. And if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Foo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Ring, ring. At Sundine's house. It's a great place to, uh? <sighs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowee! I'm dying! Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you! <laughs> oh my god. It is ridiculous. Okay. Well, either way, we made friends with Undyne. That's the important thing. I started this off thinking Undyne was gonna murder me. Now we're friends, so everything's all good. So either way, this is Rama Joey signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. I did that in the wrong order. Oh well, whatever. Bye, bye.
God, that was a terrible outro. I'm so sorry. <laughs>